Hey fiends, welcome back to my channel, Noir Skin, where we discuss and create innovative solutions for sustainable beauty. My name is Chandra, I'm a licensed esthetician, and I am passionate about removing harmful cosmetic packaging from your skincare routine. Um, so today I'm back at it with another product development, um, or update I should say, and today's video is specifically about packaging. So for the last couple of months, I have been working on the packaging for the Unicyticals film, I have been testing different materials, different box dimensions, all that kind of stuff, um, just to make sure that the product itself is protected prior to use and that it's easy for you to use it when it comes time for you to actually obviously use it. So without further ado, I wanted to show you um, the three designs that I have thus far. I haven't quite settled on what I'm going to do yet. I have a pretty good idea, but I just wanted to share what I've got uh, thus far. So box number one, which is this little guy here, if you can see that. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this particular one specifically because, oh, here it is. To open it is to open it from the front and then your films, when you're ready to use them, would come out the top, if you can see that. Um, I, I like this for ease of use because you can kind of pull the films out directly individually um, the problem that I don't, or that I have with this box um, in particular is that you, if you're using wet hands and you reach into this box, you're obviously going to put, uh, you're going to get water on the rest of the films, which would totally degrade these films prematurely if they get wet or if there's too much moisture or something happens where um, water gets on them and they'll start to degrade, right? They'll just start to break down. And I don't want that. Um, I do like this particular box just for the simplicity of the use of it. It's, it's nice. You can close it um, and everything from the front, but it's just, it's that, that's a liability for me. Um, I haven't completely ruled this one out. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it. Just being able to pull your films up individually right before each use, um, if that's something that you would like. Um, oh, the other thing I don't like about this box is if let's say you have it opened, right? And let's say you drop it, you tip it forward or you knock it over, all of your films <laughs> are gonna fall out of this box, which is obviously what we don't want because then the product itself becomes contaminated, it gets nasty, um, depending on what you, you know, spill it on. But um, that's another thing where I'm not too crazy about this particular box. Oh, and this, these aren't the actual films in this box, these are just, um, 180 sheets of paper I cut up to put in this box for demonstration. Um, so yes, this is option number three. Not too crazy about it, but it's still in the running. Um, I do like that, again, it's easy enough for people to use. You simply open it um, from the front and you close it back much in the same way. So it's just kind of a, I don't wanna say a peekaboo tab, but something similar. So that is the box itself. Um, next box, which I like better than the third box, but this one has um, a sleeve to it. So I'm not sure if you can see this. Oh, can you see it? Let's see. God, this thing is not focusing. I guess this is the best it's going to get. Um, so this is the front of the box. It has this sleeve that pulls up and then you would pull your films out this way. Um, again, I like this one, just, it's something about, like, I like the sleeve, but I don't like that it's extra packaging on the box. It's my biggest concern. It's, it feels like a waste of paper or an extra box. But um, I mean, it, it does the job. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to cover this opening so it's not exposed to air, water, people, other things and, and stuff like that before you. So it's really about making sure that the product is completely protected before use um, and also in between uses as well. So this is option number two, oops. Um, it's a sleeve top and you wouldn't pull this completely off. That would be something for um, production. We would actually remove this completely and then box it that way. But you would pull your, your tab or your, your film strips from the bottom. So I like that option. It's, it's still better than option number three because you're not exposing the entire film set and you're not putting your hands into the box, which risks contamination. So 
That's why number two is number two, right? Now, for number one, which is my personal favorite, this is the one that I like the best. It's a simple box, much in the same way that the other boxes are, um, but you would open it from the bottom using like a little closure tab that would close up in there like that and then pull out. But you would just pull your films, like the actual films themselves would come out. I can grab one. Um, like so. So you would just pull the film out like this and then once you're done, close it back up there. Now, the problem with this particular box is how it's designed on the inside. So on the inside, there's like a little tab, which I can show you. So that's the inside of the box. There's like this little tab that pushes the films forward. This little guy, this tongue, pushes all of the films forward up into the opening here. But what happens is, what I don't want over time is that this little tongue will block this opening or this closure, I should say, and prevent you from pulling out the films that way. Because as you're removing the films, obviously they'll diminish in number, and then this gets pushed forward into this closure. So I think that that might cause um, a failure over time and I'm trying to prevent that. So that's the only downside with this particular box design. Um, I'm gonna continue working on this one in particular just because it has the least amount of packaging, especially when compared to option number two um, or my option number two. I just don't like that extra top right it just seems superfluous um and then this one which is option number three my least favorite it just exposes all of the tabs or all the strips i should say um so this is my first choice it is a paper box made of 35 percent post-consumer recycled paper and then the rest is sourced from a sustainably um managed forest so it's not 100% post-consumer recycled, especially because I want it to come in a white box. Um, it's just really difficult to get that um, in 100%. But 35% is a pretty good start, I should say, in getting uh, post-consumer recycled waste um, back into the product so that we're, we're giving it a second chance. But um, yeah, this, this is the box that I have so far. I've not finalized the dimensions. Um, oh, I will say. Um, I want 180 film strips per packaging. And the reason why I want 180 film strips is because um, that should last the user about three months with morning and evening use. And I chose three months because of a, a statistic, which on average, most people don't use their personal care products, whatever it may be, a lotion, a moisturizer, shampoo, after three months. Um, just on average, not all people use all the products. Um, so that's another reason why I wanted to do something um, that would reduce the likelihood of waste. Because if someone were to buy it and they didn't, don't use all of it, it wouldn't go past three months of usage. So that's another reason why I chose 180 tabs or strips. Why do I keep saying tabs? Anyways, um, so yes, each strip, like I was saying to some of you before, but not all of you because it might not be your first time watching this video, um, each strip, God, it's so much easier for me to pull these out when I'm not on camera. Okay. Each strip is one dose. So this is the cleanser. You would wet it and obviously it would dissolve. And that is just the one cleanser for one use. Uh, so that's all I have for today for the product, um, boxes. I'm trying to think if there was something else I was supposed to mention. If I forgot something, I will be back to share. <laughs> That's that for now.